Well, hello everybody. Welcome to the ITL. This week, uh, let's start off the week actually with something. Uh, just a thought. A thought. When do you know when it's time to change your blades on your lawnmower? I'm talking specifically a long riding lawnmower. You really can't see it too much underneath there unless you pull the deck and stuff. Um, I think I can get a couple more years out of this one. What do you think? This is actually off of my ride in Lawnmower. It, I, it came apart oh, about two, three weeks ago. And uh, I don't know where the other end went, side went to. And to be honest with you, I don't know how it got broken. Looks like it might have been, might have been cracked to start with. But yeah, <laughs> time to get another, another blade, I guess. Or put this back on and see if I can get a couple more years out of it. You know, vibrates like crazy and tries to destroy the uh, spindle. But yeah, I figured I'd start it off with that. Ah, oh, what should we talk about? Oh, what is going all over the internet this week? The last couple of weeks, actually. There's the outraging about these plastic guns. You can you can download the uh, uh, the program off of schematics, whatever, off the internet and use a 3D plastic printer to create these guns and the governments are all in a tizzy about it. First, is it safe? Well, it's on the beholder. I mean, they say that they've actually created one, shot it off, and, and if you use their program, their grades of plastic and everything, yeah, I guess, it, I guess it holds up. I don't, I never tried it. I don't really care to try it because I don't have the money for the printer. And the money for the printer kind of out, uh, out does the cost of the gun, really. And the gun's only worth what, very little. But you, I guess you can make them over and over and over and over again. Well, yeah. First place, they, they say they're uh, undetectable. No, they can be detected. There is a slight amount of metal in these guns. They can be detected. Uh, the biggest thing is it'll make it, and this is part mostly what the, why the governments have that tizzy, they're not really controllable. By the government and you can say you ask how is that because they they're not the government's not controlling you like they would control a business a company that makes it makes their guns they're not like all the guns are don't have serial numbers on them and everything else which i mean that, that brings a point to me and just right here with my high point c9 this is a cheap gun this is a very cheap gun everybody knows them the, I mean, only the people that love them owns them, basically. And I mean, and it takes a special person to really love them. Really special. I got a siren. Sorry about that. I was just waiting for the police car to get by. They're sirens. Well, anyway, like I was saying, this is a very, very cheap gun. Um, is this one loaded? Oh yeah, it's loaded. Well, it's a gun without it being loaded. It's but it's got it's fully safety. I'm being responsible. If anybody gets hurt, it's my responsibility. It's going to be me. I mean, you guys ain't going to get hurt. You're, this is the camera, crying out loud. Uh, so the safety officers go away. Um, but yeah, but bringing it back to this, what, what has what, what's the connection between this and one of those plastic guns? Well, uh, three printed plastic guns. Well, this is mainly plastic, guys. Yes, you have the metal barrel. You have the metal workings inside the the grip in and everything else. And the slide's metal, but all everything on the action, everything on the outside, it's all plastic. It's got a plastic trigger. This is, I mean, polymer, we'll call it. It's got the polymer, polymer lower. It's got polymer, polymer um, grips. I mean, at least 50% of this is polymer. But yet, if you're not gonna be able to see it on the video too much because I don't I don't really want to show it too much because I mean it, it has my serial number on it which is I mean it, it's here neither here or there but I just don't want to show it all it is is a little metal plate that's been pushed and in, sealed into the plastic right here if somebody really want to be crooked that can be taken out guys that can be taken out now could it be sold like that well in a black market yes you could I mean it could be sold easily somebody could if somebody really wanted it bad enough but it's it it is what it is. I mean, it's mainly plastic. It's about at least 50% plastic. Um, so they're going the rest of the way and making it mostly, mostly plastic. Well, something immediate at home, you're not going to be able to get serial numbers and stuff, but which means the government's not going to make money off of it. 
I mean, if this is pulled off, this metal was pulled out, and say it went into the black market, it wouldn't be traceable. Is it legal? No. But it wouldn't be trace. It would become untraceable. It's a throwaway gun. So I mean, it comes down to well, is the government going to make money off of it? No, they're not going to be able to make money, and that's why they're throwing the tantrum about it. My views on it are: is it a good idea? Anything you could do on your own, I would say, safe for you to do it. I mean, and everybody has their different levels of viewing of what is safe, what is not. It's your own, whatever you're willing to take responsibility for. And that's what I, mean, I, I, I bring it up to mind that that's a lot of what's missing nowadays. People are too so happy. They're not willing to take personal responsibility on the things they do. They'd rather blame the, com like the companies that, are, that make the things they're using instead of blaming themselves for doing something that they're not capable of doing or whatever. And accidents do happen. But it's just, as long as you can do it safely, as long as it will hold up to the pressures of the round going through, it's not going to blow your hand off or anything else. I'm like, you know, I say go for it. I say go for it. Myself, would I do it? I said, I said no. First place, I can't afford a freaking printer because I mean the printer would outcost the outcost the gun by a lot. I mean that gun right there, you can buy if you live in a state that uh, that allows pawn shops. Pennsylvania don't. Um, you could buy a high point for between thirty and eighty dollars used, and a lot of them are lightly used. But you could do that all day long. And, but it's like uh, a printed out gun. Would it cost you more than that? Well, if it, after you buy the printer, yeah. You gotta buy the printer and you gotta buy the plastics and you gotta buy the different metals. And they do have metal printing gun, 3D metal printing printers. <sighs> do you wanna put your life on that? That's up to you, that's up to you. I have no problem with it. I mean, it is what it is, it is what it is. Uh, this week, actually, I'm actually been pretty darn busy. My grass is growing pretty tall in the middle area lawn where we're at. I mean, it's getting to be jungle height. Uh, it will be cut, though. It will be cut. Uh, it's, it's rainy right now, actually. You guys don't don't really notice it. It's got like a misty type thing going coming down. I got you guys protected with with your little my little umbrella that I have for on my uh, tripod, which I don't get, I don't use it very often. It's not really needed. But it's, it's, I got you all set up. Uh, this week, actually, I'll be meeting up with Gopher Rider on Saturday. And it's supposed to change the weather on us once or twice, actually. It's supposed to be uh, somewhat sunny for us. So hopefully we'll have a good day over at the flea market. And it's just in Ohio. And then we go on sa Sunday. This is Saturday. A Sunday will be... Uh, Meeting up over at uh, Matthew Cher Sheraton's uh, meet and greet they have over there for the Click a Car Show, um, and I hope for understand a bunch of bunch of YouTubers, a bunch of people is going to be there. Hope it's a good time we're going to have. I know I'll be hanging out with Gopher for a little while, and whoever else is in the area that I recognize or want to meet, and I mean hopefully it'll be a good, a good time. Uh, then on September, the first week of September, put this reminder out for all of you, um, the Buckeye Boys, the Buckeye Boys in Ohio, Buckeye Boys grew, grew all. They, uh, they were, they're putting on a uh, meetup at the clubhouse, they call it, all in Newcomerstown, Ohio. We will, I'll be over, over there for, well, probably most of the week. Um, wasn't playing on it, but I, I'm thinking most of the week. And uh, we'll help to meet a lot of audience. I mean, I know Really Too Ugly's going to be showing up. I know, if he can't, as long as he can, I know uh, Suburban Rider, aka the mayor, will be showing up. Uh, hopefully, he'll be definitely there because, I mean, we got work to do on his trailer. I mean, I hate to work on his trailer and not have him there, even though he's bringing the trailer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, 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 hopefully we'll have a good time there. Um, but yeah, 
this week has been a busy, busy week for me, and I'm surprised how busy it is compared to how I thought I was going to just take it easy. But it, it has been a busy, busy week. Hopefully I'll have my rider up and running so I can get my grass cut, even though it's supposed to stay up a lot. I found finding out how weak my left hip really is still, even though I've been gun ho pushing it. I mean, I've been pushing it hard for being only being in there for so long. That, re, that re, reconstruction uh, is like a uh, revision. It, it's telling, my hip's telling me, hey, I'm still weak, dude. You gotta work, you gotta build me up. So, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing as much as I can. You can tell a lot of the shrubbery has been cut down. Um, the grass scene's cut, and I mean, it, it, we're getting it done. We're getting it done. That's all that matters. This must be Hope you all have a great week. And I mean, I know this is post on Saturday, and I'll be seeing go. I'll be seeing go for. Um, I announced it'll be Saturday. Yeah, I know this is being released on Saturday. I'll be going on to actually. This is right now. I'm recording this. This is Wednesday. And tomorrow night, I'll be hopefully if nothing comes up, I'll be on Dante Fox's uh, hangout. I. Uh, I know uh, Cave Troll had his hangout last week. I wasn't able to be on it, but hey, life goes on. Um, but yeah, I hope you all have a great week. I'm planning on me having a great week. Spuzzle Mike, signing out.